The Persona dancing games are probably the weirdest thing to come out of the series. Persona 4 was all the hype back then, so Atlas wanted to capitalize by making an obscure dancing game for the PS Vita. Yeah, the idea team may have been baked. But nonetheless, Persona 4 Dancing All Night had reached store shelves and was surprisingly well received. What sets this apart from other dancing games is the story present throughout the game. Basically, the investigation team has to dance to kill all the shadows and save humanity from a mythological god by busting a move. So it's pretty run of the mill for Persona. It takes place right after the events of P4 Golden, so technically it's a sequel? Most of the songs are absolute bangers. There's a surprisingly wide variety of tracks with different characters accompanying it. And also Hatsune Miku because... I don't know. Speaking of, there's some DLC songs too, making the track list 33 songs as well as tons of cosmetics from the other games. You probably know about this game from the Specialist Dance. Speaking of, all the dances are surprisingly well choreographed and fit the personality of the character. The gameplay is about what you'd expect. You have to hit the notes along with the corresponding button, and its main gimmick is the scratch wheels, having to move the joystick when these rings appear. There's also these special fever scratch wheels that fill up a meter and let other characters join in on the dance. These songs can actually get pretty tough, especially on the higher difficulty. It's surprisingly fluid with no delay in button presses. It can be pretty hard to keep track of both sides of the screen sometimes, and the clicking sound overshadows the music a little too much. The tracks can go on for a while too, averaging to about 4 minutes. This game was re-released on PS4, and you can play it on PS5, however, you can only get it if you buy the $60 pack of games, in which P4D is treated as the bonus game when it's significantly better than both. Now, I'm an Atlas meat rider, so this wasn't a problem for me, but for the average person, they'll never get to experience this awesome game, which is a shame. Hopefully they'll do a pack re-release on Steam for 30 bucks. But for now, this game lives in the shadows. Speaking of shadows, the DLC has a dachi. What a pain in the ass. So if you've ever wanted to play as a murderer in a dancing game, now's your chance. Anyway, the final dance battle culminates in the whole team dancing together in a battle against the god. Persona. With the final part given to Izanagi no Okami, who starts riffing on an electric guitar. You cannot make this up. This means Izanagi no Okami is canonically the only persona to shred a guitar. Um, Arsene who? I hope this video gets you to try this game. It's pretty fun. Make sure to subscribe for more Persona and join the Discord. If we get a lot of members, I'll probably do some giveaway challenges at some point. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.